Well, good morning, everybody. It's good to be here. Um, this morning, I'm going to be at Wales Nursing Home outside service. Um, this message here is what my plan is to deliver to the people. Um, I was looking for the words of a song. And I couldn't find the words, but I found the song, and I figured, well, why not go ahead and play that for you now? Y'all listen to the to the words of this song and see if it makes any sense to you at all. I think it will. amazing song. It's a great song. I've heard that song all my life. Jesus paid it all. He didn't go to the cross halfway. He came from a place called heaven. He came to pay a payment that no man could pay. Um, man thinks today that in this world that he can pay all of the necessities that needs to be paid, but he can't do it. It was designed that only Jesus would be the one that could pay this awful payment of death. The payment that he paid was death on the cross. And that's the only one that could pay this debt. Nobody else could pay it. There's a scripture in uh, Romans 3.23, the Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. All of us have sinned. But a lot of people will go and say, well, what's the big deal? We've all sinned. Well, if you stick around long enough, you'll understand that there was a payment that had to be paid for for you committing that sin. That sin doesn't go unpunished. There's a punishment for sin. The Bible says in Romans chapter 5 and verse 8, But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet in sin, Christ died for us. See, Christ paid the ultimate price of his life on the cross, when they nailed him to the cross, when they whipped him, when they scourged him, when they beat him, when they put the crown of thorns on his head, when they made him carry that cross to the top of the hill, where he received the 
two nails in his hands and the one giant nail in his feet. And see, we sit here today pretending that it wasn't that big a deal, but it was the very big deal. But God commendeth his love toward us. His love was the love of Jesus himself that paid our sin debt. Because in Romans 6.23, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. So see, there's a death that we are to pay for, but God knew that man couldn't pay that sin debt. Man's blood was not perfect blood. Man's blood was messed up blood. And the reason that God required a perfect blood is because Jesus was a perfect Savior. That's the reason they named him Savior. That's the reason they called him King of Kings and Lord of Lords. The words that Pilate had nailed to the top of that cross was the only one that could pay the sin debt for mankind. For the wages of sin is death. Ultimately, what he's saying is we have to die. But because of the fact that our blood wasn't sufficient, that God's blood through his son was sufficient in order for him to pay for man's sin, he sent a sinless Christ to the earth, born of a virgin, lived for 33 years, was condemned, was ridiculed, and was placed on the cross so that he could pay for your sin and for my sin. Today, that sin debt has been paid. Jesus paid that sin debt. He paid that sin debt for you, and he paid that sin debt for me. Because just because he paid that sin debt doesn't mean that we're all covered by that sin debt because some people don't believe. Some people don't believe in the Christ. Oh, they'll go to church and they'll hear the words. And they might even hear the song, Jesus paid it all. But until a person accepts that Jesus, then that person basically is without Christ as far as his salvation. See, without salvation, none of us can get there. None of us can arrive where he is. When, on that day when he returns, he will not come back for the ones that has never been saved. He won't come to earth to get them, not on the first time around. The Bible says in Romans 10 and verse 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. It takes our believing in the Lord Jesus to get salvation. Salvation is free, it, it is, but you have to accept that it. it would be no different than taking your hand and putting it through the camera to receive my gift of this little New Testament. You would have to reach out and take my gift that I'm offering as a gift. You would have to take it. That's where a lot of people misses the boat is they don't understand why they got to have Jesus. 
because Jesus was the payment for our sin. Without Jesus, there wouldn't be no payment. And therefore, we would have to die the death. Oh, well, Brother Ken, that was 2,000 years ago. Yeah, it was 2,000 years ago. But see, he paid for sin past, present, and future. He paid for your sin that you're going to do tomorrow. He, he's going to pay for your sin that you do today. And yes, he has already paid for your sin that you did yesterday. But there's many people that don't take him up on the offer of him dying on that cross. They don't see the need of recognizing that. That's the sad part. That's the sad part. There's a scripture in Romans 10 and verse 13. The Bible says, For whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. You know what he's actually doing today? He's giving you an opportunity to, to seek for him and to find him and to know who he is. He used the word whosoever. For whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. That means the worst heathen. That means the man that even wrote this verse that I'm reading to you right now, he was a sinner. And he met the Lord along the way. And he even said, Lord, what would you have me to do? What do you want me to do? It was basically what he was saying. What do you want me to do? He was the chief of sinners, but yet God loved him enough to pay his sin debt. And I'm sure that your sin debt don't add up to the chief of sinners. The Bible verse here where I'm at right now is in 1 John 5 and 13. It says, These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of of the Son of God, that ye may know, that ye may know that you have eternal life, and ye that believe on the name of the Son of God. That, that's where I think a lot of people misses the boat, is they don't understand of where they know they are in the Lord. Let me tell you where you are if you're not in the Lord. You are a sinner. And you have been given a death sentence. And one day you're going to die. Now, you know, it's appointed unto man once to die. But then it says, but after that, the judgment. And that is true. Judgment is coming. It is definitely coming. But you know what? Jesus paid our sin debt. We celebrate it every Easter. We just got done doing Easter as far as the festivity not long ago. Here's the thing. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. All to him I owe. See, Jesus gave all of himself to us. What is he asking us to do for him? Have you accepted him today? If you haven't accepted him, then you still have a penalty of death to pay. If you're born again of the Spirit of God, he paid your sin debt. He paid it past, present, and future. So today, if you're with the Lord, you can go free. There's freedom in you. There's not freedom in the person that is lost. If you happen to be out here today and you hear this message and you're lost, you have a debt to pay. But you're not going to be able to pay that debt because when you pay the debt of your life, there's still something that is still owed and the truth of the matter is, 
you're required to go into the pit of hell. And let me give you some great news just for you to know. God never intended for any man to go to hell. I'll go as far as to say this, that it's not God's will for any man to go to hell. He didn't make hell for 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 mankind. He made hell for the devil and his angels. So if a person chooses to not let Jesus be the payment, then you'll be the payment, and it'll be the payment that you can't pay. He paid your sin debt. All you have to do is take him up on the offer of that sin debt. I hope that you can say that you have. If you if you haven't, you need to reach out. You need to call me. You need to talk to me. You need to tell me so that I can take the Bible and simply show you in just a few minutes how you can know that you know that you know that the debt has been paid. He paid the debt. He paid the debt in full. Something perfect came from heaven to pay your sin debt because God knew that you couldn't pay that sin debt. And today is my desire to show you that the Lord has already paid your sin debt. All he wants you to do is to believe in him and trust in him. That's all he wants you to do. Believe him. Trust him. Seek him out. Seek him out while it's day. If you do, you'll find eternal life. You'll find the word salvation. Salvation is what you need to go to the place that is called heaven. And I hope that you end up in the place that is called heaven. You can know today, just like I know where I'm sitting today, you can know. I hope that you do. I need your prayers for the nursing home ministry. Pray that people will listen, that people's able to come and to be a part. Elderly Ministry is the website that you can reach me on. This is the YouTube that you can reach me on. There's a phone number on YouTube. There's a, a phone number on the website. You can reach out to me. Love to talk with you anytime. Leave a message when you call, and we'll get back to you. Okay? Thank you all for watching.